we know there's a pretty good chance they've never had a chance to look through a telescope, let alone ones as good as the ones here. Maybe they've never barely seen the night sky. If you live in a big city, there's a chance that you don't get to see the Milky Way. And so we love to, to mention that we'll be able to show them, show them things they haven't seen, and we'll probably get a few objects up there that we call oh wows. That's when we tell them we're gonna point at a nebula or maybe Saturn or Jupiter, and uh, these are oh wow events, and they look at us kind of skeptically, and then they step up and look through the eyepiece, and it finally focuses, and it falls into their brain, what they're looking at, and they go, oh wow. The people here a thousand years ago were master astronomers, there's no question about that, and they were tied to the sky, I think, spiritually as well as practically, because the sky gave them their calendar and told them when to plant and harvest. But I also think it was sort of a spiritual anchor for the people. Uh, they certainly uh, incorporated the movements in the heavens with their uh, spiritual life and ceremonial life. Uh, this is a, a real magical place, and I think it's a place that Americans can come and uh, learn a little humility. Because 500 years before Christopher Columbus was ever born, this place was practically the center of North America. And what the people accomplished here in a very uh, marginal environment was pretty remarkable. We get little kids that'll look at something in the sky that maybe they've heard a little bit about, and then they'll ask a great question like, do you mean it's been up there my whole life? Even though it's tough to get here, uh, if we can just get you out here once, we know that you'll probably come back. <laughs>